guys, how's it going? It's Height here, and we're back with a brand new first look to the channel. This game is called Craftimation, and it is coming to Steam February 19th. If you want to go ahead and wish list that, it will be an early access, and you're not going to want to miss this one. But it is a colony automation ish game. Very similar to Autonauts, I believe, if you guys have watched my series serieses on Autonauts, then you might be interested in this. And if you haven't watched my series of Autonauts and you are interested in this game, well, maybe go ahead and check out those. But guys, you use your robots on an alien planet to mine for resources. You have to program them. And I think the programming is a little bit simpler than normal i believe they have it set up so you can use like a flow a flow chart programming system which is super cool mine two stone how do i do this so they're gonna give me any sort of tutorial oh i just click on it new object stone pin uh, combine two stones to make a explosion a spark mine coal or whatever this is coal okay new object coal combine a spark with a coal to make a fire that seems easy enough how come it won't go there we go new object fire drag fire to the rocket to unfreeze well there we go that's cute I guess we're going to need more fire. Oh, wait, no, we did it. New object bonfire place next to frozen tiles to unfreeze them. I'm trying. Okay, we put that there. Now we have to light with a fire. Oh, this is fun. Okay, so we got to get one of these. Oh, this is cool. Put this in here. What do we got here? A body combined head and body to assemble crafto mate. Where is the head? Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, put that on there. We got a little buddy. Okay. Minor rock. This is fun. This is a cool game. I'm interested. Okay. Create coal brick. One of these and one of these. New object, coal brick. Charge the craft mate. Drag coal brick over it. There you go, buddy. Follow on-screen highlights to create your first program. Okay. Taught the silly. Show hide editor. Find and pick up. Find and pick up a rock. Find and pick up. Another rock. Combine. Is that it? This guy is just going to make us. Oh, no, no, no. Then find and pick up a call. Combine. Drop to fire pit. Okay. So pick up a rock, pick up a rock, combine the rocks together, pick up a coal, combine those together. That's going to make us a spark. And then wait, no, no, that's going to make us a spark. That's going to make us a fire. And then that is going to drop it and keep our fire nice and toasty warm. Okay, so now what do we do? To idle. Ah, okay, so that's the loop. It's going to loop this. Oh, this is fun. Okay, now how do I play it? There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> I love this. Okay. Bonfire needs zero to burn. Okay. Create a brick. What is that? A coal and a... What is that? A, a mud and a rock? Is this mud? Soil. Okay. Soil. And rock. Makes us a brick. And we put that in the fire with a coal. Oh no, that makes a new fire. Okay, put that over here. Oh, oh. 
We're, now we need more fires. Can I tell this guy to like split where he's going? Light with a fire town freeze. Okay, let's just make one real quick. There we go. Oh, we got a new buddy. Now, can I copy? Oh, oh what's going on here? Oh my god. Provide rocks to the command center. 15 rocks. Okay, hang on. How do I... Oh yeah, we gotta give this guy... Fuel. There you go. Now, how do we do this? We want to... Find and pick up a rock. I think we can hold two items, right? Find and pick up another rock and then drop to drop to i don't remember if it was drop to or drop to pick from go to maybe it is just drop to i don't actually know maybe we'll have to and then to idle okay now play what does this guy do combine yeah drop to the fire pit okay so this guy's working oh crap i think we need another drop to in here drop to drop to whoops drop to drop to okay and we want this to be the same spot i think and then on error on error, we're just going to go there. Okay, so that means if his hands are already full for some reason, he's just going to skip that and he's going to go and drop. Okay, that should work. The problem is he's putting it down and then he's immediately picking it back up again. Um, How do I like, is there like a weight? Is there like a weight thing? I guess what I could do is just say go to, go to point, Let's add this. We'll add a go to point and we'll just tell him to go up here. All right, that should fix it. He should drop both of them in there. There we go. And he's going to go and he's going to hang out. Okay, that's going to fix that. Now, this guy needs more fuel. Get out of the way. There we go. Perfect. Now, what is this other thing in here? Eat? Oh. Oh, we're unlocking new functions. Oh, that's fun. Okay, that's fun. So we can get our guys to eat now, eventually. What is this, paint? I don't think we need paint right now. But I think we do need another fire. So we can make a brick. Make another fire. Put this up. Can I put it, like outside of the mm, maybe not that was a bad idea how do i undo that oh, did i just make a baby <laughs> okay so now this guy needs fuel all right now this guy's job is basically done oh he needs sparks in here now okay hang on let's let's pause this guy execute program let's pause this find uh, we need to delete this. How do I delete stuff out of here? Right there. Delete. Okay. Combine. Put this in here. And these, I don't think we're going to need those anymore. Or are we? Maybe we do. If you can't pick up, then you're going to combine because your hands are probably full. And... That should work we don't need this anymore how do i just delete this there's no, it, i thought you could just right click and delete stuff but it's not working okay let's try that this guy needs fuel everybody needs fuel okay hopefully he comes and takes this stone out of here or maybe i can just move it what's the problem here drop to here there we go. Okay, so that's going to start working. Perfect. Uh, we need more fire. 
And I wonder if there's like, hmm. Well, anyway, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna have this next spark done here momentarily. Good, now we've got another guy. Okay, you need to pause. Can I just tell him to drop his stuff? Copy program, okay, perfect. We actually want that. Now this guy, actually we can copy this program onto this guy. And then instead of having him drop on that one, we'll have him drop on this one. Play. And then this other guy is gonna need some food. Okay, and this guy is gonna need some food. And this guy needs more food. Okay. We got yellow paint, we got white paint. We're gonna have to find iron. Eat. Tells Craftomate to consume an object it's holding in its hands. Although Craftomates can digest almost everything, only certain elements are truly nutritious to them. Coal bricks are fine on early stages of the game, while batteries, though harder to craft, guarantee a full charge. Well, let's buy that. And what do we want? Energy? When placed on the work field, this trigger will check a craftomate's charge level. If it's above 7, the program will go through the upper output, and if less, the lower one. I think we need something like this so that our guys can make food. Let's try it. We'll try it. So I am going to need, I think, one guy that's just going to be making fuel. And I... I don't have any, like, storage or anything like that, I don't think. Um, hmm. How am I going to do this? Okay, hang on. Before we do that, let me really quickly... Uh-oh. Did I just feed that stone to him? I think I did. Okay, let me really quickly make a new fire pit. Oh, get out of the way. Why does it always go into this spot where this guy goes? Okay, put that there. Put... Wait, what do I need? A coal, right? Put that there. Put this up here. And put that in there. Okay, so now I need to fuel this guy. Good. I'm going to need some fuel for that. Although I'm also going to need a guy that's just going to make... Okay, hang on. Let's copy this code. I got too many things on the go here. We'll copy that onto this guy. And then we will drop into there. So this one always has fuel. Uh, except he needs to drop his items. How do I clear program? How do I take the item out of his hand? Do I just get him to eat what is in his hand for now? Eat. Can, can you eat it, please? Okay. I think we did it. Let's wait. What? Come on, delete this now. Connect this back to here. Reset the program. How come you're not working? Idle, find a rock. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Let's get some fuel. Everybody needs fuel. Perfect. Okay, now we got to actually start getting a guy that's going to make us fuel. So let's go ahead and say, find and pick up a rock. Find and pick up a coal. Combine the coal. And then I guess we'll just, I wish there was drop to storage. There's a storage. Drop to storage. To idle. I mean, that's good, right? Energy check. We want this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check for energy. If we're okay, we're going to make more fuel. And if we're not okay, we are going to find and pick up a coal brick. And then we're going to eat the coal brick. 
and then we're going to go back to idle. So that should start to work. I just don't know if this guy's going to have storage anywhere. Like, where is he going to put the stuff? There's no storage. <laughs> I don't have storage. Okay, well, um, it was a good idea. We're just going to have to find a storage before that's going to work for us. So let's just keep keep these guys going for now. Unfreeze. Unfreeze. Oh, that's what our mission is right now. Okay, I didn't even see that we had a mission. So we need a brick. Make a brick. Make a fire. Is it like this? There we go. We'll put this down over here. And then we will just light her up. Okay, we got some iron ingots. Mine two iron. How do I do this? Oh, the sparks. What? Oh, I need a fire. Never mind. I thought I needed a spark. Okay, make a fire. Interesting. Make another fire. Dang it. Make another fire. We got two ingots. And oh, it's all freezing up again. We need to get a storage going so that we can keep our guys juiced. Okay, so I'm going to turn this fire off for now. And I'm going to start stoking this fire because I think we need it more. It'd be nice if I could get over to there, but it looks like it only goes two squares. Okay, well, it's fine. We can get a couple more ore. We can make some fires. We can smelt this. We're just going to need five to get to the next level. I'm hoping we're going to be able to unlock storage soon. Because once we have that, I think everything's going to just become a lot easier. Let's fuel that guy up. Okay, put those in there. And I don't... Oh, there we go. I can just put this stuff in here automatically. I don't need to get little robots to do it. Okay, that should fix that. Craft a steel plate. Okay. Did I get a storage? I saw them. I saw something. What's this? Storage. Perfect. Let's plunk this down. Ah, okay. There we go. So we're going to have some fuel now. Now what we want to do is add in all of our robots. We want to add. Oh my gosh, there's not going to be room for all this. We want to add the energy check. And we're going to do this to this. Um... Pick up from find and pick up. I don't know if they automatically pick up fuel out of containers or not. No, I don't want to combine. That's bad. I want to eat and then to idle. That should be good. Are they going to eat right out of the storage? Or what's the situation? Am I able to pull out of the storage? Oh, I can pull out of the storage. That makes it a little bit better. I don't have to constantly be making fuel. Now, I would love if I could copy chunks of things. Can I, like, copy more than one thing? Copy? Let's see if I can put this onto this guy. Oh, that is the dream. All right, that's going to go like this. That should all be working. All I got to do is fuel him up again. And there's one guy that doesn't have the little fuel check thing. So we'll go ahead and we'll add this together. Okay. I think all my robots are going to be pretty much fully sufficient at this point. Hum, num, 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 num. Okay, good. Okay, they should just never run out of fuel anymore. I'm hoping. It should just have fixed that problem. Okay, so the next thing we're going to have to do is make another fire pit. Like 
so i need a fire right whoops sorry buddy wait brick and brick and i forget brick and stone what did i have to mix this together with a fire pit okay so put this over here and then i think i should be able to just take fire out there we go this one has 40 in it <laughs> oh my gosh okay well there we go that's that so now to make all these plates i guess what we'll do is we'll just do the normal energy check and actually you know what i can do it might still be copied yeah we'll do this and then after that we are going to find and pick up then we're going to find and pick up and then we're going to combine wait wait, wait, wait. hold up no 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 we don't want to do that that's actually wrong it's actually wrong find and pick up oh we're trying to make ingots okay so we're trying to find and pick up a rock is that a rock what is that that's not a rock is this a rock no that's a rock okay find and pick up a rock Find and pick up a rock. We'll combine them together. That's going to make us a spark. Then we're going to find and pick up a coal. We'll combine that. That's going to make us a fire. Then we'll find and pick up a iron. We will combine. And that will make us a ingot. Oh my gosh. Yep. And then maybe I'll just get him to drop the ingots. Uh, to drop to storage. Maybe just drop to storage. Go to idle for now. We can start filling up a storage over here full of iron ingots, perhaps. Let's see if that's going to work. I should have another storage chest here somewhere. Let's plunk it down right in there. Fire up all these bad boys. Make sure that they don't mess that up. Okay. I can make a whole pile of ingots here by hand. Pew! There we go. That guy's doing his thing. I might just make these quickly by hand. It's quite quick. To just do some of it by hand i suppose this one's actually at zero right away everything's gonna freeze okay that looks good this one has 51 in it i'm going to just finish these rocks here or these iron ingots whoops let's make sure these are good and melty Okay, and then if I combine these two together, we're making steel plates. We can just go ahead and stick those bad boys in there for now. And that's going to get us two new robots, which is going to be super good. Okay, last one. Perfect. We got two new little buddies. What do we need here? Glass. Create sand. From mud and fire. Okay. We got 52 fire, 21 fire, 3 fire, 4 fire. Well, it's easy enough to make sand. How do we make glass? Just fire up the sand. And we need a lot of fire. Everything takes fire. Which is fine. Whoops. Get out of the way. Okay. That's not bad though, right? I keep accidentally picking up guys. Okay. Well, that's going to work out just fine. Let's see. You know what? Let's just really quickly finish off this glass level. Well, that's not glass. There we go. It takes two for every one. We also have two upgrade points. Oh, we got counters. Unlocks counting for crafting mates. Can bear counts. Check whether the amount of objects in a select tile is more or less than or equal to a selected number. Energy compare. Okay. 
that's actually cool because then we could use that i think to spread the fire the fires around between the fire pits tells craft made to compare its current charge level with target level repeat tells craft made to repeat an action for a select number of times that sounds good what's this Unlock several commands that give you more precise control over Craftimate's hand manipulations. Tells Craftimate to pick an object from a selected side. Direction drop. Tells Craftimate to drop an object to a selected side. Okay, I don't think we necessarily need that right now. Unlocks variables. From now on, all commands that require an argument can have variables for inputs. Variables are nodes that store values both the sign and the player receive. Okay, that could be useful, but not right now Functions are nodes that allow the creation of prefab program bits for any purpose You can add as many inputs outputs as you see fit to them Afterwards, you'll be able to add functions to any program as a single node <gasps> I think that is going to allow us to make a refuel program. Follow the on-screen highlights to create your first function. Command. Wait, what? I'm trying to make a function. Where's the... Oh, plus, plus command functions. Functions are nodes that allow you to create a prefab program bits for any purpose. How, why won't it let me make it? Oh, over here, functions. User function. Okay, we can change the name of this. Edit. This is a custom function. You can write any code in it. I'm, I'm trying. Why won't it let me change the name? Here we go. Energy check. Okay. So user function, this thing. Oh, actually what we want this to be is not energy check. Can I rewrite this? We just want this to be refuel. Refuel. Okay, so all that's going to do is... I'm hoping I'm doing this right. This is a custom function. You can write any code in it. I'm trying. Refuel. Refuel, refuel. Okay, so now I think we're in the refuel function. What we want to do is we're checking for energy. We've already done this. This is going to be the actual refuel function. So at this point, what we want to do is find and pick up fuel. Eat fuel. And that should be it. To idle, I think. That should be all we would want to do. Copy and paste. Maybe what we'll do... Since we're going to do this anyway, maybe we'll just add a loop. Eat. Find and pick up coal. Find and pick up coal. We'll have them eat a couple just to make sure. To idle. Okay. Now, I think what this is going to allow us to do... I don't know how to save this. I'm not sure how to save this. Is it just saved? It might be saved. Oh boy, I don't know. What if I just close this? Did I do it? Refuel. Edit. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That is going to work, I think. So now what we want to do is go in here. And what we should be able to do, pause this guy for a second. And we want to delete all of this. And just put the refuel function in. And that should be it. Right? I I hope. Ao Awo the wise. Is that where is Awo? Here he is. He has 10 energy. Where where did he go? Awo. Okay, so he's eating food. He's eating another food. Good. Okay, I think that actually is going to work. So now the next time we need to program a robot to do that, all we got to do, wherever Owo is, I can't even find him anymore. There he is. The next time we want to do it, all we got to do is check the energy, and if it's low, refuel, done. Easy peasy. And once we get better fuel, 
once we get better fuel, all we have to do is come in here and change this to a battery or whatever. It would be easy to fix. So, there we go. Really quickly, let's finish this glass level, and then I think we can wrap up this... Oh, no! Did he just eat my glass? <laughs> I just fed it to him. Okay, really, really quickly, let's do this. There. Ta-da! We got another person. We got magnets. I receive magnets. You receive. I don't know what that is. I'm not sure what that is. Follow to create your first function. We already know how to do this. Skip programming tutorial. I think so, right? We've already done this. I don't see where the prompts are, so I think we're just going to skip this. Okay. Make a magnet. An iron ore and an iron ingot. Seems pretty easy. Let's make sure this thing has some power. And I think what we're going to do is wrap up this episode. And in the next one, we will start looking at the magnet. I'm seeing a whole bunch of batteries up here, which is cool. Some storage. The map is not so big. Oh, wait, it goes up. Oh, it goes up a long way. Okay. So it's not bad. Oh, there's a lot to do. Okay. Well, guys, I think we're going to wrap it up right there. I hope you're liking it so far. If you are, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And I will see you next time.